Hello, the one and only Xylophony here with another Ark Survival Evolved fan-made dossier. And this one's going to be the Amargosaurus made by Kinscraft. Now, as we see, we have another sauropod here, which is very similar to the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus, but this one is interesting. The Amargosaurus is actually a lot smaller than them, so it'll be a little bit of variety to the game. And of course, he has those large fins along the top of his neck. So, as you can see here, the saddle has a ladder on it, which will be very useful. Due to the size of it, it may be even more useful to have a saddle like that on a Bronto or Brachiosaur. But, either way, still seems pretty cool. In the wild, a Margosaurus is small for a sauropod at 10 meters long and 2.7 meters tall. It lives in large family groups to prevent predation. When in danger, their sails flush a brilliant red frightening small predators while stunning large ones. Ooh, that's a cool feature and that could definitely be see something I could see them adding to the game. Just because it's a little weird but it's a cool defensive tactic these guys can use and it would look really cool in game. Uh, just judging how Ark picks a lot of the really cool looking dinosaurs and the flashy ones, this guy would fit right in for sure. Now I certainly imagine the person who made this dossier is making up the whole flashing brilliant red thing because obviously you can't really tell that from a fossil but I still think it's really cool who knows they may normally fan them out such as uh, you know a lot of animals do today to make themselves seem bigger and more threatening anyway it says its back is at a great height for building walls and roofs while its carry weight allows for plenty of building materials it's faster than a Bronto but not as sturdy Okay, so seeing as this guy gets to around like 10 feet tall or so, that would actually be really good for, you know, helping you set up some of your normal houses, your normal buildings, you know, set up your roof on something that's maybe two walls high, maybe even three, and, uh, you know, climb it up for the higher bits. So it seems like it's a very useful utility to, uh, you know, get around to building higher things, just because sometimes it's difficult to, uh, build things high up in the air. You need either a platform or some sort of scaffolding to make that happen. Anyway, when domesticated, I've witnessed attacking tribes use a ladder-like saddle that runs along the back of its neck. A trained Amargosaurus will lift its head to the top of a wall while its riders climb safely between its sails, sometimes rearing on its hind legs to try to match the wall's height. Ooh, so this guy may not be as tall as a Brontosaurus, but he can certainly still help you scale a wall. Obviously, climbing the ladder on the back of his neck will get you to as high as a position as possible, and he can even, you know, rear up and uh, give you a little bit more height. Now, this would be very dangerous with his weight normally, but, well, he is smaller, so it's quite possible. So, I think this guy would be great for utility. He can uh, obviously harvest some berries, as it says here. That ladder will be very useful. And I think he's going to be really good, especially for building projects. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Although this guy hasn't been announced to be added, I think this guy, out of many of the unofficial dossiers, would be a very likely one and a very good one to have added. Plus, everyone likes sauropods. But leave a like if you've enjoyed, leave that comment, and I will see you next time.